police have been working to train the public on how to handle active shooter situations. Nine News Side's Natalie Terangioli joins us now with uh, more on that. Natalie, TPD is holding two training sessions. Valerie, yeah, tonight's was the first of those two training sessions held this month. The focus isn't on gun control or anything political, but empowerment. Gilroy, El Paso, Dayton, three cities across the country, all sites of mass shootings just within the last month. After hearing concerns from the local community, the Tucson Police Department set up two active shooter training sessions for August. We weren't allowed to record the presentation, so this is file video from a training a few years ago. TPD goes over strategies to use, run, hide, or fight. How to run, when it's appropriate to run, what to hide behind, what's good to hide behind, and if you have to fight for your life, what are good strategies to do that? Those strategies are exactly what drew Mel Dominguez to the training. She says racially motivated shootings like the one in El Paso are on her mind. I have family in El Paso and they lived a mile away from there. I'm glad they were not there when it happened, but um, they have friends that passed away. The two hour training also goes over the definition and characteristics of an active shooter. Recent statistics from the FBI and Secret Service break down the warning signs and trends of shooters in the past. And the training emphasizes having awareness and knowledge. As soon as we heard this, um, me and my spouse, we immediately looked at each other and said, you know what, we should have a game plan. And we talked about when we were in the parking lot, if something happened, um, if we saw something, that we, how we should be calling immediately, don't be scared to call. And there's another training session happening one week from today on the 29th. That one is sold out, but TPD holds about four a year. And there's another one happening in November. Valerie, back to you.